Our first guest tonight is an Academy Award nominated and Emmy winning actor who you know from shows like Cheers and True Detective and films such as White Men Can't Jump, Zombieland, and Triangle of Sadness. He stars in Champions, which opens in theaters March 10th. Let's take a look. My name is Marcus Marikovic, and I am going to be your basketball coach for the next three months. Nope. Wait, what? I said nope. <laughs> Is this something he normally does? Nope. That's Darius. He's our best player. I'm Johnny. I'm your homie with an extra chromie. <sighs> Whoa. Please welcome back to the show our friend Woody Harrelson, everybody. <laughs> Welcome back! Listen, I know you guys are here to see Niall, but I appreciate that. Very nice of them. Very nice of them. I'm How do you happy think I... to see Niall, too. Yeah. It's like, I saw him backstage. I was, like, fawning like a little schoolgirl. Anyway. That's very nice that you can be honest about that. I yeah. felt the same way. I saw Niall backstage. I had the same reaction. Well, yeah, my, <laughs> my daughter, Mac, is, like... A, Huge fan, and so you know, she she woke us up the other night when he dropped his single. Like Dude. woke us up. <laughs> <laughs> well, like... <laughs> now, what time can you wake up Woody Harrelson? Like, what uh, what's a good time? I don't think it's ever a good idea. Yeah. yeah. Let a let, let a sleeping Woody lie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Now, you, I should stress, you needed a little sleep because you did one of the, the great late-night endeavors. Last Saturday, you hosted SNL for your fifth time. Yeah. Fantastic yeah. episode. Yeah. That was, uh, that was exciting. And I, let me say, the, the Five Timers Club, uh, the real accomplishment, you didn't just knock out, like, five uh, hosting stints in seven years. You stretched this out. It yeah. speaks to the, the breadth of your career. Your first one was 1989. Do you remember your first time hosting SNL? Not even a little bit. <laughs> Well, hold on, let me reframe it. Do you remember much about last Saturday? <laughs> nothing, nothing else. Actually, even, uh, I didn't, I know that I left the uh, after after yeah. at, uh, at six. Yeah. So, that's where my memory started. <laughs> yeah. But is it, uh, is it, is it, do you remember the high of hosting? Does that feel the same, even though you're doing it for your fifth time? Oh, there was a serious high of hosting going on. <laughs> I walked. I, I, I promise I'm not trying to walk right into this. <laughs> Everyone in the dressing room had a whole high of hosting. <laughs> so you're saying it's almost contagious when they're around the you. Contagion yeah. <laughs> thick with. Uh, <laughs> hey, uh, this is very exciting. So you have your own uh, your weed your own weed dispensary. I do. Congratulations. Yeah. Yeah. The Woods. The woods. And so this is uh, this is an LA billboard, and this is uh, this is an old an old photo of you. Yeah. Now, I was thinking, like, what do you think this young man would think if you told him in the future you're gonna own a legal marijuana dispensary? Well, at the time he didn't smoke. Really? So he'd have been like, no way. <laughs> I was very religious at that time. This is I was I was working as a, a, a lifeguard at a. Anyway. Um, someone sent someone sent this to. It was at a church camp. I didn't want to get into all that, but okay. So I used to go to church. Anyway, uh, yeah. So so someone sent that to uh, to the woods. Yeah. And, and then and we were like, well, let's just use this. Yeah. So, I will say, yeah. I mean, for the, I would have definitely guessed weed before church camp lifeguard. <laughs> <laughs> Based on the photo. Um, well, that's very exciting. Uh, have you enjoyed it? I mean, it, it must be a nice moment to be able to... I mean, this is, a, this is something you've been a fan of for a while. Well, it, it, it's really the most beautiful place you've ever seen. I mean, it is stunningly beautiful. Uh, uh, Thomas Schuess, who's a uh, partner, is, did the designing, and he's, like, he's a brilliant designer. So it's like, it's beautiful. It's the most beautiful dispensary in the world. After that, I can't promise anything. I, but there is a, uh, there's an out, there's a ganja giggle garden out back where you can go out there and uh, <laughs> giggle. <laughs> it's, a, it's a giggle garden. Um, this was uh, amazing. Somebody uh, in our lives 
every now and then we might encounter uh, who we or other people will say is your doppelganger, right? You lay eyes on them and you go, oh my God, I can't believe I've lived my whole life and there's a person I on earth who looks just like me. This. Well, this is somebody posted this on Twitter. You responded to it, their daughter, their infant daughter. Oh yes, yes. Yeah. And I was like, how can an infant daughter look like Woody Harrelson? An image. I mean, that's insane. <laughs> <laughs> what a trip! I uh, know. Yeah. I mean, can you imagine how messed up she's gonna be in life? <laughs> Later, people are showing her this picture. <laughs> I think she'll be. I think she's gonna. They say all babies grow out of their Woody face. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I've got a lot more questions, including about the film. We'll be right back with more. Woody Harrelson. 